I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy, or I shall clean it myself. Somewhere in the middle of Rockstar Games' library of crime bosses, serial killers, morally gray cowboys, and hard-boiled detectives is a charismatic school days drama that stands far apart from their other work. Bully invited a fair amount of controversy when it launched on the PlayStation 2 in October of 2006. I had already played the incredible GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas on the PS2, so I was relatively assured I'd enjoy Bully, looking past concerns that it would encourage violence. I was surprised by how well it balances its batch of unruly characters with a quaint and believable mini-open world that sometimes feels like something out of a Christmas story or Happy Days. It's a charming comedy that you should take the time to explore if you haven't already. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. You're dead, new kid! Just like a Harry Potter novel, Bully covers a full year at a private boarding school called Bullworth Academy, charting the day-to-day -day education and social awkwardness of its newest student, Jimmy Hopkins. Jimmy definitely has a rough personality, possibly due to being neglected by his parents, but soon learns that there are plenty of other students at Bullworth that enjoy pushing people around. In between scheduled classes and a harsh curfew, he befriends and belittles members of each of the school's cliques, including the bullies, nerds, preppies, greasers, and jocks. One of the things I love about Bully's mission structure is how it simulates a school environment without getting dull or repetitive. Jimmy has two courses each day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. If he's caught by a prefect after the bell rings, he's sent straight to class. Each course has a corresponding minigame that gets more difficult as the year goes on. You have to create words out of jumbled letters for English class, complete quick time events in chemistry, and play dodgeball while stuck in gym. You can fail a course to retake at a later day, and if you want to stick to your studies, the story calendar thankfully doesn't move forward unless you complete more missions. Maybe you're just not cut out for this. Start over. The mini games are simplistic, and to be honest, I cheat and look up some of the answers whenever I replay Bully, especially the words for English, but I still feel a fair amount of pressure when I run to class, hoping I don't have to take each test a second or third time. When the bell rings and the noisy halls become empty, it feels like a functioning school. You're also done with each class after completing five lessons, which can be a satisfying accomplishment when you leave the tougher subjects behind. Finishing a lesson gives you various perks like social interaction skills and tools you can use to harass other students. Aside from the first day of shop class when you unlock a BMX bike to pedal around town, almost all of the classes are optional. So if you want to be a rebel and make the game more difficult, you can skip school entirely. In a way, it mirrors the reality of actually having to reluctantly drag yourself to class. You can skip out on lessons if you want, but it'll make the school year more challenging and less interesting overall. Guess what time it is! Yep, time for a beatdown! Please, I have nervous bowels! Even if you don't ditch class, the game eventually moves away from campus into the surrounding shops and suburbs. Unlike other rock star environments with a randomly generated population, most faces on Bully's map are established characters, and their outfits change depending on their location and the time of year, such as popping open umbrellas when it rains. After just a few weeks, the school celebrates Halloween, complete with spooky decorations, character-specific costumes, and a few missions that focus on childish pranks. You can add students to a photo yearbook, run quick errands for them, kiss a girl you have a crush on, and you often hear playful banter between the citizens as you make your way around town, or members of the tougher school cliques picking on the weaker kids. I'll give you whatever you want, just stop! In lieu of Grand Theft Auto's usual fleet of helicopters and fast cars, Jimmy wheels around Bullworth on just a skateboard, a bike, and a scooter if you save up enough tickets at the local carnival. The small scale of the map might surprise players used to Red Dead 2's sprawling southern states and GTA Online's massive island, but it's precisely this intimate setting that makes Bully so special. The year only takes around 15 to 20 hours to finish, and each social group has their own hangout and chapter of the story. If you want to make some money, there are odd jobs you can finish, like mowing lawns and delivering newspapers, and you can spend that cash on new outfits from different retailers, gifts for your friends or weapons for your enemies, and a few basic arcade games. Bully enforces good behavior with a zero-tolerance policy by the local police, a 2 a.m. curfew that forces Jimmy to pass out wherever he's standing, and a dress code whenever prefects spot you on campus. These casual restrictions, along with landing 360s off the school steps, sneaking into the girls' dorm, and riding a rickety wooden roller coaster, all add small doses of nostalgia to those bygone school days. If you've already graduated, that is. 
<laughs> you know what, kid? I like your style. You got guts. The game also seems to take place a bit out of time. While specific spots suggest Bully is set in the mid-90s, there are design elements that point to the 60s, 70s, 80s, and the 2000s. It captures a pre-smartphone era of both innocence and lawlessness, and while it definitely has plenty of crass and gross-out moments, there's a likable charm coding the whole experience. It reminds me of movies I watched when I was young, like Grease, The Breakfast Club, or Ferris Bueller's Day Off, as I dreamed of going to high school with the cool kids when I got older. The soundtrack is sweet and playful, a handful of characters legitimately struggle with being good students, and Jimmy manages to carry the whole thing in a neutral fashion, despite an occasional lack of patience and gruff attitude. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Okay. One of the best things about Bully is there are tons of ways to play it. Aside from the original on PS2, which was re-released on PS3 and PS4, there's the Scholarship Edition, which brought the game to the Wii and Xbox 360 in 2008, and later the Xbox One and PC. It was ported as the Anniversary Edition to iOS and Android in 2016, including the Scholarship Edition's eight new missions, additional characters, four new classes, and new items and clothing. So if you pick it up on the PlayStation console, you're buying a port of the original PS2 version without these extras. My second playthrough of Bully was on the Xbox 360, and I didn't know these bonuses were included. While it was fun playing fresh minigames and meeting the deranged Hobo Santa, you won't miss anything significant by playing the game as it was first released. And it seems like every few years, rumors of a sequel resurface from various people, including the game's composer Sean Lee and Rockstar Games co-founder Dan Hauser. Thirteen years after it first launched, it's exciting to think what a Bully sequel could offer following three console generations. I'm going to practice. Here's the cash. I'll tell my mom that not everyone at Bullworth is mean. Bully is still a delightfully unique title amid Rockstar's usual menu of bank heists and headshots. Due to its timeless style, the world holds up despite some clunkiness with the controls, frame rate hiccups here and there, and some old generation character models. If you have any preconceived notions about it due to your experiences with Red Dead or Grand Theft Auto, or you've always been turned off by Rockstar games due to their mature themes, you'll be pleasantly surprised how fun it is to go back to school. You know Anything what going on, language? I got something for you! <laughs> okay, just take it. All right, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> what? You cool? <laughs> you deserve it because you're weak! You are a whiny little girl! Wrestling is great. 